This case was brought to you by Clinic. A previously healthy five-year-old boy presents to your clinic for jaundice. He is accompanied by his parents who report that yesterday, their son was otherwise in his normal state of health. This morning, the patient had back pain and chills along with a reported fever. The patient's parents have not noticed any urinary frequency, and the patient himself does not report dysuria or pain with urinating. His parents also don't recall any preceding signs or symptoms from yesterday. The patient went to the park to play with friends, but denies any injuries or falls. After going to the park, they went to the restaurant for dinner, which included rice, chicken, and fava beans. Otherwise, the patient went to bed last night without complaints. In your clinic, the boy complains of persistent back pain and chills, but his physical exam is otherwise unremarkable. He provides a urine sample, which is seen here. Initial laboratory tests show an elevated bilirubin, elevated lactate dehydrogenase, anemia, reticulocytosis, and Heinz bodies on a peripheral smear. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? The correct answer is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. This boy has signs and symptoms and laboratory findings consistent with hemolytic anemia after the ingestion of fava beans. Favism occurs most commonly seen in children, usually males between the ages of 1 and 5. The clinical manifestations of acute intravascular hemolysis begin within 5 to 24 hours after fava bean ingestion. Patients will typically complain of headache, nausea, back pain, chills, and fever, followed by hemoglobinuria and jaundice. Individuals who develop favism are almost invariably deficient in glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. In G6PD deficiency, oxidant metabolites of numerous drugs result in denaturation and precipitation of hemoglobin, causing erythrocyte injury and rapid hemolysis. This acute hemolysis occurs only if the patient is exposed to oxidant drugs like naphthalene, sulfonamides, antimalarials, or in this case, to the fava bean. Hemoglobinemia and hemoglobinuria occur 24 to 48 hours after the ingestion of an oxidant substance. The discoloration in urine is often described as Coca-Cola urine or having the appearance of red wine and is the result of this hemolytic anemia. Laboratory findings will classically show hemoglobin levels decreasing acutely, even to as low as 2 to 5 grams per deciliter. Bite cells and Heinz bodies are observed during this time. The diagnosis depends on direct and indirect demonstration of reduced G6PD activity in erythrocytes. All the wrong answer choices can lead to hemolytic anemia, but are not classically associated with favism and can be differentiated based on findings on a peripheral smear. Hereditary elliptocytosis is an inherited red blood cell disorder, which is characterized by elongated, elliptically shaped red blood cells. It is classically inherited via an autosomal dominant pattern with a clinical manifestation that is highly variable, ranging from patients being asymptomatic and elliptical blood cells on a peripheral smear is just an incidental finding, to patients with severe hemolytic anemia. It is characterized by large numbers of oval or elliptical erythrocytes seen on peripheral smear without bite cells or Heinz bodies, and there are typically no diet-induced triggers causing hemolysis. Hereditary spherocytosis is another cause of hemolytic anemia caused by a familial red blood cell disorder with various degrees of severity. Similar to G6PD deficiency, patients have known exacerbations of hemolytic anemia, however, none of which are associated with the consumption of fava beans. Typically, settings which lead to hemolysis include infections, such as those with parvovirus B19, leading to aplastic anemia, and also with infectious mononucleosis, leading to splenomegaly, and deficiencies in folate and vitamin B12. Unlike G6PD deficiency, peripheral smear classically has spherocytes, not bite cells or Heinz bodies. And finally, Wilson's disease is a genetic disorder of copper metabolism with an autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance. Unlike G6PD deficiency, which presents with acute exacerbations in clinical presentation, patients with Wilson disease typically have a gradual progression of their disease which typically present over time with liver disease, neurologic symptoms, and psychiatric symptoms. Hemolytic anemia can be present in these patients, however, this is typically associated with liver injury or disease. There are no classical findings on peripheral blood smear in these patients. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology, from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members.
exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like, forever.